Hi everyone, my name is Teng Senje. I'm from class RPT3. So in this video, I'm going to present task for project product. So I will use polya models and inactive representation to show an alternative solution for a non-routine question selected from PISA 2022 mathematics test question. So, the question selected involve application of reasoning in measurement and geometry. Now, let's look at the question. Mara's family is moving. They can choose from two sizes of moving trucks to rent. The interior storage compartment dimensions of the trucks are shown in the table below. All walls and the floor of the storage compartment of the trucks are rectangles. And there are also three different sizes of boxes available, which is small, medium, and large. So, Mara's family decide to rent truck A. So, what is the greatest number of medium boxes that could fit into a truck? The first step in the polya model is to understand the problem. To understand the problem better, we can underline the keyword and the information in the question. This helps focus our reasoning and ensuring a clear understanding of the question. The wording of a question will often provide guidance on how to approach its resolution. After we understanding the question, we know that Mara's family plan to rent a truck plan to rent truck A for a house move and we need to determine the maximum number of medium boxes that can fit into truck A. We are given the dimensions of both the truck and the medium box. After understanding the problem, the next step is to devise a plan or strategy to solve it. We can solve this problem by using models. To solve this problem, we can create a model truck and several model boxes of equal size. Considering the large size involved, a scale of 1 to 50 can be used, meaning the model's dimensions are 50 times smaller than real-life measurements. Then, the model boxes are placed inside the model truck and the maximum, of the, maximum number of the boxes that fit is calculated. So, to make the model truck and model boxes, we first need to know their size. By using the scale of 1 to 50, calculate the length, width, and height of both truck model and box model. After dividing the actual size by 50, we know that the length of model truck is 8 cm and the width and height of the model truck is 4 cm and also the size of the medium size model box is 1 cubic cm. Then, building the model truck using a transparent PVC cover so we can see and count the number of model box inside easily. Since the size of the model box is 1 cubic centimeter, we can use the unique cubes from the base 10 blocks to represent the boxes. Next, the model boxes are placed inside the model truck until it fills the entire floor. After counting, it is determined that 32 boxes are required to fill each row. Continue to place the model box into it to create a new row until the boxes reach the top of the model truck. From the model, we can see that there is a total of 4 rows of boxes that can be placed. Since there are 32 boxes on each row, so a total of 128 medium-sized boxes can fit into truck A. And now is the step 4 which is look back and reflect. This stage is to reflect and look back at the entire process of problem solving Check the computation, 
and answer, discuss the meanings of the problem. So, to ensure the correctness of this solution, we can use Easy Cargo Simul Cleaner to compare with the answer we get. So, setting the dimensions of the truck and box in the simulator, simulator and we can confirm that the truck can indeed accommodate 138 boxes, validating our solution. So we have come to the end of this video. Thank you.